Thanks guys, coming up to sports, the Aggies are in Vegas for the weekend and we'll tell you all about it next on News 22 Sports. Welcome back and hold on to your socks because I'm Nolan Fox with News 22 Sports. Today is International Women's Day like they said earlier and the New Mexico State women's basketball team is celebrating in a big way. They're on their way to the semifinals of the WAC tournament. Last Honestly, night they flew by Chicago State. The Aggies got some big time scoring from Brooke Salas and Gia Pack. They combined for 56 of the Aggies 84 points. Pack scored 29 while Salas, Salas dropped 27. The Aggies went, to, went on to win 84 to 60. Even though they took the win, they would still like to improve in other areas. Honestly, I don't think I can ever be satisfied after a game. I feel like there's always room for improvement. So, I mean, if you look at the, the box score, it looks okay, but I feel like there's a lot that I can still work on. I'm all, you know, strong, but um, I didn't do so well on rebounding, which is my strongest key. I like to get, crash the boards, get all the rebounds. So, I feel like every game, I just learn from it. The Aggies will play Seattle University tomorrow at 3.30. While the women's team is celebrating a W, the men's team is getting ready to play their first game in Vegas. They are also the number one seed in the WAC tournament and will also play number eight seed Chicago State. That game will start at seven just in a few minutes. The Aggies are led by Jamario Jones, who won the WAC Player of the Year. If they win, they will play Utah Valley in the semifinals tomorrow. And the NMSU baseball team is in a little bit of a tough part of their schedule. All week, they've been down in SEC country. They lost two games at, to Mississippi State, 9-1 and 6-0. Now they'll head to Tuscaloosa for a three-game base weekend set with the Alabama Crimson Tide. This weekend should be a tough test for them as their record sits at 8-6 on the season. And the Aggie softball team is also facing a challenging weekend. They are joining the basketball teams in Las Vegas. They are playing in the Rebel Classic. The tournament features NMSU, UNLV, Portland State, DePaul, and number one ranked Washington. This will be the second time this season that they'll play the number one ranked team. A few weeks ago, the Aggies lost to then number one Oklahoma in the Troy Cox Classic. Since then, Oklahoma has dropped down to number five. And that's all for sports tonight. Join us for more sports action next week. Still ahead on News 22, Selena will be back with a look at your five-day forecast. But first, you've heard of cars and wallets and phones getting stolen. But how about an Oscar? More on that when News 22 returns. <laughs> 